Welcome to our video presentation of EGL Community Edition. In our previous video, we were able to create an environment, dynamic web project, and get a value from JNDI. In this video, what we want to do is get the same value, but use EGL. We'll create a new project called Environment RUI. In that project, we'll create a new service, that is a SOAP service, called JNDI. Now, in the JNDI project, we're going to create some external types, and then we're going to fill in the details of the service. So first, the external types. Like before, we're going to use a context from JNDI. It's a, in the package called Java X naming, and the class name is context. Uh, we're going to create a initial context, and the important part is that the initial context is a kind of context, so we use the extends keyword. And the initial context is in the package javax.naming, and the name of the class is initial context. And we have a constructor that we're going to use. So our service itself, what we want to do is walk through the service. We want an operation called get server name that returns a string. Now we'll create a context from the initial context here, and we'll make it private so that it's not part of the interface. And then we will use that context to look up the value of server name. So we want to deploy our environment RUI project to the existing environment project. So we open up the deployment descriptor, select environment from the drop-down list, and uh, save our deployment descriptor, and then we'll be able to deploy our EGL project. Now since the dynamic web project was already set up for using the JNDI, we should be able to just restart our server when it's completed the deployment process and then find the generated WSDL file and test with Web Services Explorer. There's our operation name. And then there are no parameters, so we just press the Go button. And what we see is the results are in our service. It has returned the value by looking it up in JNDI. Thanks for watching.